Hello everyone. Let's take a look at Likud 31 next permutation. It's um it's a very classic problem in the code, and this problem is um a little bit tricky since there are some good solutions, and uh, uh, it would be best if we could remember the best solutions. Okay, so let me go through some examples and let's uh, like enhance uh, this problem together. Okay. So the problem is to find the next permutation of the given array. For example, uh, nums is one, two, three. So the next permutation is one, three, two. For three, two, one, next permutation is one, two, three. For one, five, and we find that can be duplicate numbers. The next permutation is one, five, one. If there's only one number, the next permutation is itself. Okay, let me take a new example, two, three, six, five, four, one. We know the next permutation of two three six five four one is two four one three five six. Okay, let's um take a look at, uh, at how to find this solution. Okay, first we need to find the valuation index. What's the valuation index? We know like for the number after the valuation index set in descending order. So we need to uh, search for last index and find the first index that's uh, in increasing order. So this is the violation index, it's in increasing order, but all the numbers after it are in descending order. So we find the first as num index that's in ascending order. Now we need to search for last in in index. Okay, next, we reverse all the numbers after it. So. 6541 becomes 1456. Okay, so it's one kind of case. For example, if the input is 3 to 1, then valuation index is negative 1. After reversing, it becomes 1 to 3. This is our answer. So we can just return in this case. Otherwise, we just swap the violating number with the first number larger than the violating number, which is 4. We just swap them. Then two, four, one, three, five, six is our answer. Okay, let, let's see if you can handle duplicated numbers. So this is valuation index, and this is um, the number like the first number larger than violating number. Then we swap them. Okay, we can also get correct number. So this is our implementation. First, we check some common cases. Then we use a for loop to find the violation index, which takes O n time. And we reverse it, which also takes on average O n time. If violation index is negative one, we return immediately. Otherwise, we use binary search to find the first number larger than the violating number. At last, we swap them. Then we get the correct answer. Okay, that's it. See you next time.